Aries placements. Aries. 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 Uh, let's see, Aries. Oh, the tower. What's up? I don't know. I mean, the tower can be good or bad, depending on how you see things, but let's explore it. Why is the tower here? Changes. Drastic changes. Unexpected changes. Unexpected move. Uh, possibly unexpected uh, spending. Unexpected expenses, I want to say. Hmm. An unexpected love. Wow, you do have a lot of things happening at you, happening to you at once. We have strong energy of uh, chaotic energy, <laughs> and it's it's good and bad in this case because I see here that unexpected expenses, which can be you know catching you off guard and you're like, fuck, I, uh, I'm gonna have to dip into my savings or I'm gonna have to make an unexpected move. I'm gonna have to move because the, I don't know, the house is not good anymore. Or if you're renting the landlord or the landlady, whatever is making like fuss about something. So unexpected, it's, it's, it's a chaotic energy here, but I do see the good side of it which is unexpected love. Love could come at you in the most wrongest times and you think, why now? Why when I'm going through shit, love appears? Well, there is no mistake, okay? So when love appears, that's when it's meant to appear. And sometimes it appears during a chaotic phase in your life or a chaotic period in your life. And so I see that. So... Let me explore the love side of it because unexpected expenses like, you know, you can't really do much about that, can you? Can't really do much about that. It is what it is, you know, it's, um, it's something you have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, you can find, uh, you know, like ways to minimize how much you pay towards that it could be it could be something like you know something you need something you use every day that will break down <coughs> and that you will have you will have to fix it and it, the the fixing it will cost <coughs> so there is that but let's explore the love because we have the lovers and the six of cups Strong, strong, soulmate energy here. Yeah, wish fulfillment. But you feel it's such a wrong time for you. You feel like, well, um, uh, not now. Why does, why does it have to come in now? So you could be questioning uh, the universe, saying, why now? I'm not, I'm not really in a good mood for love. I'm not in the mood for love. But this is the love that I want. Like, you could be thinking, well, if only the, the timing was different, you know? It's not, it's not about, yeah, yeah, it's telling you to not have that mentality of, you know, oh, I wish times were different because right now is not a good time. Don't, don't have that mentality, okay? Because, uh... Whenever something happens, there is a reason it happens this way, okay? Maybe this person is meant to help you in some way. Or maybe this person is meant to come into your life so that they can uh, give you um, something good alongside the bad. Because, you know, life is a balance of things, right? And so, in a way, this is telling you, don't expect to have love at the right time because there will always be something bad happening or something that will make you think that it's not the right time. Love doesn't have, doesn't need time, doesn't have time. It comes in when it comes in and embrace it when it comes in. 
I mean, would you rather go against the world alone or go against the world with a partner? It's always good to have company, right? <laughs> you know, like if, um, I don't know, like... Uh, if, um, you know, like, I'm going to give you, like, a stupid example, but that's the one I can think of right now. If Bonnie and Clyde decide to, decided that, you know, if, if Clyde, for example, decided to, you know what, it's not a good time for love and I'm going to have to rob the banks, make money first and then find love. He would have never, uh, you know, become this strong couple with Bonnie um, if he said well it's the wrong time for love right now I'm in my criminal phase and I want to be with um, Bonnie after I have made all the money that I want in life you see what I mean so there is no such thing as wrong time for love at least okay and a lot of people think you know I want love when everything is perfect and love is just like you know, like, when everything is good. No, love is when it's good, when it's bad, when it's ugly, when it's beautiful. And that's the beauty of partnership, that you go through things together instead of trying to be alone in it and decide when the other person is is has a place in your life. Does that make sense? Especially when it comes to strong connections. Because this is a strong connection. This is a partner in crime. This is a ride or die. This is um, this is definitely a soulmate. Okay, so if they come in your life at a chaotic period in your life, don't freak out. Don't freak out. See it as a blessing. See that the universe is trying to ease on things with you, bringing you a person to share life with. So don't be shaken by the appearance of love because your life right now is not giving peacefulness or it's not giving um, like time for love, okay? Okay, interesting. So... <coughs> Let's see, let me just move the sage because I have very fragile um, chest right now because I'm still recovering. But I guess I need it because it keeps on coming to my face. I don't know if you can see it, but anyways. Let's see the prominent energy of the people surrounding Aries or are in Aries energy the prominent energy of the people surrounding Aries mm -hmm. you have someone here that is lying to you lying about what exactly trying to cause you emotional confusion In a weird way, they're doing it because they care about you or they have feelings for you. What a weird thing to do, right? This is a person that you know or have been with before. This is X energy. If you are one of those dumb ones that... Uh, um, I don't mean to call you dumb, but... <laughs> If you are one of those that are friends with exes, uh, this is an ex that's lying to you uh, to, to confuse you emotionally because they're still interested in you. And they could come at you with the um, idea of wanting to heal things, but they're not really wanting to heal things. They want you back. They want to be with you. They have feelings for you still, and they, these feelings are almost toxic. And um, they are trying to manipulate you, whether they are manipulating you to make you think that they are not interested in you and 
They're trying to seduce you in a way, to make it your call to move towards them. But these, this person is still lying. This person is still trying to, like they have an agenda, so to speak. And they're, they're fucking with you emotionally. And um, they're pretending to be helpful. They're pretending to be your friend. They're pretending to care about you with no conditions. Like they love you unconditionally. Bullshit. <laughs> they love you conditionally. Okay, they miss you. Um, I don't know why I got this, but they, they miss sex. They miss sex strongly here. Like they miss the intimate side of you. And they hate the fact that they cannot get some. And it's not like this person cannot get some, period. It's like they cannot get some with you, specifically. And it annoys them. Um, I feel like this person is trying to isolate you. They're trying to make you have less friends, make you have less people you rely on, so that they are the only source for you, so that they can control you. Yeah, yeah, this person is playing dirty games in the name of love, which is a strange thing people do. Yeah, um, they are still holding a grudge when it comes to something that happened between the two of you in the past. They are holding a grudge. But the thing is, even though they're holding a grudge, they still want you. Maybe you're that good in bed, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, they still want you. Um, and it's, um, I don't know, yeah. See, this person is, is biting their tongue, trying not to make a move towards you or trying not to suggest them something or offer you something or tell you they want to be with you. Um, they're preventing themselves from saying that. They're, they're trying their hardest not to say that. <coughs> mm. I feel like from what I see here, this person is toxic as fuck. Because if they love you, and manipulate you like this. Imagine what they would do to you if they hated you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oof. So, I mean, I can see how they feel about you, but I don't see how you feel about them. Let's see that, and we'll take that to the extended. How does uh, Aries feel about this person? I mean, I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll take something else to the extended, but. I see here, Aries, that you are heartbroken by this person. Like you, you, they hurt you and you're not going to forgive them. And, you know, it's like you still miss them, you know, but this is why you're giving them a, a little bit of your attention, meaning that they still have a little hold on you emotionally. But when you remember what what happened between the two of you that separated you broke your heart and you're not going to get over that. So I see that you're not going to get over what hurt the both of you. Okay, so... <laughs> so there, you're, you're not going to forgive this person and pretend that nothing happened between the two of you, that... You know, it's it's all good, okay? But you're going to keep them around, I see. I see that you're going to keep them around for the sake of the past, meaning for, you know, for the sake of, you know, knowing them. 
but I don't think that your heart will accept them ever back again. You, if you are a cross watcher, that's what Aries is, is is feeling. You know, they're not going to forgive you for what you've done, and they're not going to forgive you or let you back in their heart because their heart for you, it's a done deal. It's 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 hurt. It's not going to. I feel like you have an open wound, Aries, uh, when it comes to this person. And maybe you have detached yourself from feeling anything towards them because if you um, if you do, then you will hate them. You will not even accept being friendly with them because I see that you are friendly with them. I see that you you kind of, they are still in your life somehow because I see that they are able to manipulate you a little bit at least. Not as much as they like, but a little bit, a little bit. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't think you will ever trust this person again. I don't think you trust them right now anyway. I feel like you are just keeping them around for some reason. Why is Aries keeping this person around? <clears throat> yeah, for the sake of the past. You could have been um, like friends with them before you became lovers. You, you could feel um like you have like um mutual friendships you have uh people you that you both know you could be in the same friend group uh which is why you're keeping it a very platonic but i don't see that you know it's beyond that um there is a part of you that wishes that things were different between you and this person, but the real the reality of it is this is not the case. You know, you you know that it's it's you know what happened has happened. Uh, there is no there is no returns, and you're you've you've I think you've accepted that reality. You know, you're not going to try to paint it differently or try to change the narrative here. It, it is what it is kind of energy here, but I see that you're keeping them in your life because there is some type of attachment to your surroundings and that includes them. Okay, they just happen to be uh, very knotted into your life and it's easier to leave them there and feel nothing for them instead of um, cut them out. That's your logic, okay? You know, because um, yeah, that's 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 your logic. So you know what? I'm gonna. I I will. Mm. I want to see what this person is planning to do or show me this person's plans for Aries because I see that they are not going to give you up. I don't see it anytime, like I don't see this person anytime soon giving up on you and it's in a toxic way, like this is not lovey-dovey shit. Um, so I want to see what this person's plan when it comes to you. Aries. Oh my god. This person is dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what in the fucking American psycho is this? Uh, Aries. We will take this to the extended, okay? Because this is like, this is like, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, 
we'll we'll talk about that in the extended because you know it's gonna take me a while to dissect this but uh the the first message that i got is very interesting and uh we'll take it to the extended the link will be in the description box i'll see you there